You know you have three brains. You have the lizard brain, the fight or flight brain, two, three hundred million years old. And then you have the limbic brain, the emotional brain, like 150 million years of evolution. And then of course you have the neocortex, uh, the rational, logical thinking brain, two to three million years. What if I told you that now there is a, a fourth layer coming? Um, makes you more, more of a computer. Today's topic is the fourth brain. Give me something, something good. I get wasted on the thought of you. You probably read the news this summer about Elon Musk's new tech startup Neuralink. So what they are working on sounds like total science fiction. They are drilling holes into the brain to um, connect the computer straight to the neurons so that we don't have to mess with the time-consuming interface of, of thumbs or a keyboard or any, anything like that. Um, according to Mr. Musk himself, uh, this technology will be inside a human being in a year. Of course, he's notorious for, for being a time optimist. But, but still, in the not-so-distant future, there will be human beings among us who are um, part computers. Um, in the beginning, of course, this will be used for special cases, like people with uh, disabilities, like if, I, um, if I'm blind. Uh, wouldn't it be amazing if I could just um, shortcut all my problems and go straight to the nervous system and, and just give myself a video feed into the brain? But eventually, of course, in 10, 20 years' time, most people, at least the ones who can afford it, will be able to upgrade and get themselves a neural link. Why would I go to school and study Chinese if I can just uh, download the app instantaneously? I'm in London today to talk about behavioral changes in human beings. And it got me thinking, how do we even define a human being? What makes us human? I mean, it's easy for, for us today to think of a Neuralink as a spooky, strange technology, but think about it again. I mean, if, if we would have someone here from a thousand years ago and I would show them this technology, regular glasses, they would think of it as witchcraft, something really spooky. Oh. What if people in a hundred years' time think of a Neuralink as something perfectly normal, just like glasses? Who wouldn't need an upgrade, after all? Anyhow, I want to hear your thoughts on this. Um, how do we define a human being? How do we determine what's human and what's not? What's a machine? Please share your thoughts in the comments down below. And um, if you want more, hit subscribe. And I'll see you in the future. Yeah.